What is up everybody? So today we'll be talking about my glowy summer hygiene routine item 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 Why because one it's quarter to summer and two um, not to sound deep But then growing up I actually didn't have like the whole hygiene education talk item item So like it was just like wash your ass, but then not like behind your ears cleaning your belly button Exfoliate don't put soap in your coochie. I just felt like this is a very fun and necessary video to film and I hate long intros so let's go exfoliating gloves who never heard of her body brush who never heard of her like I know on Instagram those who follow me on Instagram know I used to swear by exfoliating gloves but then since I met this girl guys like ooh child ooh 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 this she's an icon she's a legend and she is the moment now come on now this is um the body shop body polisher item 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 so it's basically like a long exfoliating rag thing thing and this is life guys like it gives you a good scrub it leaves you clean as hell <laughs> And he said to my mouth, it leaves you clean as hell. And I just love this thing, guys. Like, since I found this, I just dropped the exfoliating gloves. And it's actually super cheap. It's like 70 bucks at the body shop because I know the body shop is known for pricey items. But this is actually quite cheap and I love it. It lasts. And um, for days where I actually shower twice, I actually end up using a loofah at night since I'd have already exfoliated in the morning. But then overall, I love these two together like this combination is life for me why because i hate washing rags like i feel like washing rags are one hard to clean and also they don't like they're too smooth like they don't exfoliate like well 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 and for me i feel like the first step to glowy skin is smooth skin like if your skin is rough and in the canvas for you to moisturize and uh 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 it's not like you know smooth 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 i don't know if that makes sense but then <laughs> You guys understand what I'm saying, so period. So all along I used to use the Sanex 0%, 0% fragrance, 0% colorant, 0% soap for very sensitive skin. I used to use this on my whole body because I do have like some very sensitive areas and like my inner thighs, my ass and um underarms you know so i always used i used to use this but then i felt like hmm i want to like i was tired of smelling like nothing because this literally doesn't have any smell so i was like let me just experience experiment with fragrance and then this girl came in and i love her so much like pretty legendary if you ask me i love it like she smells amazing like the next time you go to this camel clicks i dare you to smell this lux soft touch blah 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 it is almond oil so it's very moisturizing like even though it has fragrance like it won't dry you out if that makes sense so this is the combination i use i usually now use this just for sensitive areas and then using this for the rest of my body and that's like the best decision i've made because she smells like a dream period Guys, I've tried to like use aluminium free deodorants, but then they just don't work for me Like I use the Sanex one, but then I wasn't very content with it So if you have any suggestions of aluminium free deodorants, please drop them down below But for now, I'm using the Sanex Demo Sensitive and um, it smells like fresh freshness it smells good and i would recommend you get an anti-pesperant because it's gonna be summer you'll be sweating and just if it's just deodorant it just like what can i say it just removes the odor but it doesn't stop you from sweating unlike an anti-pesperant which actually stops you from sweating so i love this girl and yeah that's about it on deodorants Moving on to like the best parts, like the part which I'm sure people have been waiting for, the glowing parts. This is what I use to moisturize. I use Epimex because one, it's hypoallergenic for everyone who has sensitive skin. And I hear um, it's actually recommended for people with eczema um, and stuff like that. So it's very moisturizing. And I used to use this on my face too, but it, it's actually comedogenic. So I suggest you use it from like your neck going down. It's also fragrance and color and free. And I love it so much. It's so thick and my skin loves thick butters especially like in summer when i'm trying to blow and then um sometimes i actually um 
mix it with this when it's time to moisturize it's like the Porsche M's Maria skin oil or scars stretch marks blah 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 it's basically like a tissue oil and for me I feel like oils are messy but then like I like using this like I just use a few drops and I'm good with it and I do have stretch marks but I won't lie like I haven't seen any like distinct change yet so I'm still testing that out I won't lie to you guys and say um, tried and tested it removes stretch marks And then I know I said like the whole moisturizing part was probably my favorite part but then my favorite 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 part clap if you care <laughs> clap if you clap if you care is actually fragrances so I use this I know it looks like ooh, child it's been through the most like it's been through the most and it's almost finished but then i love this um body mist from bath and body works it's the japanese cherry blossom um fragrance mist and um actually my aunt actually got it in america so it's about to finish and i don't know where i'm gonna get it but then like i love this stuff it smells amazing it smells sweet and i love sweet smelling scents so that's why i love this i use it together with this which is the Britney Spears um fantasy perfume item I'm not sure if it's eau de toilette or eau de perfume but then anyways it has like a strong smell so I just use a little a little it goes a long way it's also about to finish but then um I love this stuff like I feel like with scents you should just pick one scent like if you want fiery scents you go for fiery scents if you want sexy scents you go for that if you want um oh I literally just got it I literally just scratched myself. If you want sweet scents, then you like just stick to that like right from the beginning. So like for me, this, this, and this actually all have the same kind of scent so that I'm not like confusing myself. So it just goes all together and it just smells uh amazing so yeah that's about it for my hygiene routine like it's not very very complicated that's just about it if you want me to make like a whole video on hygiene tips i'll make that separately but then like for now all i'll say is like don't be afraid to ask people like especially the people you love the people closest to you like ask them about your hygiene like if you if they feel like you're doing everything right because you know sometimes people will be scared to offend you and stuff like that but then how will you know without like getting offended what english how would you know you know what i'm trying to say guys like you won't know if you're just scared of getting offended like sometimes it's good to rip the band-aid off and you know know what to do learn your body there's no right or wrong way like i always say like i know people love fighting in the comments like no do this do that but then like i feel like if it works for you then sis go for it hey thank you so much for 10k i love you guys so much i love you guys so much thank you so much for 10k stay tuned for the next video don't forget to like and subscribe and click the not notification bell for notifications guys sorry i'm like running out of english i love you guys so much thank you for watching bye